What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need in the first few minutes, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step tutorial. Today, we're going to answer the question, what exactly is a SharePoint list? Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands because I gotta use them forward. Alright, let's get the timer. Basically, a list in SharePoint is a way to keep track of data using rows and columns that helps you sort, group, and filter that stuff and get a great visual representation of it in rows and columns and do some other super, super cool stuff. There you go. That's your general answer for what is a SharePoint list. Now, we'll take a few minutes, we'll peel back the covers, and we'll talk about what a SharePoint list is as it relates to something that you probably already know and either love or hate, and that's Excel. So let's jump right into that. But before we do that, let's take a moment to say thank you again for everyone watching. We're over 2,000 followers, and we're at 3,900 and something like minutes or view, hours viewed to get to 4,000. It's a magic number. We're so close. Thank you so much. And if you could go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and the bell notification so you can know as soon as new content is available, that will be much appreciated. Now, let's peel back the layers of this onion. So we're going to pretend that we have an existing Excel file. And this Excel file is uh, super important uh, because it is tracking some of your uh, favorite friends uh, favorite color, favorite ice cream. This is important information. You need to keep track of this. And so you have this Excel spreadsheet. You've got names over here. We've got the favorite color, favorite ice cream. Now, there's some super cool things we can do with this, even with an Excel, but we have to convert that to a table first. Because right now, if I try and click and like do any sorting or whatever, I can do it column by column, but it's just kind of goofy. But if I go ahead and just say, you know what, I'm going to make this thing into a table. Tables are special in Excel. Here's how. So we're going to format as a table, and we're going to say, yep, it's got headers. That's telling... Uh, Excel to take a look at this top row as your header uh, and allow you to like sort and uh, sort and filter according to these headers uh, and we say okay so now it's a table so I can do super cool stuff now stick with me the SharePoint piece is coming I promise so we hit the drop down here and we can you know select everyone or we can filter and just show who we want uh, if we wanted to see you know who really you know who are the periwinkle fans right there we go and we know that we got to get vanilla and kiwi flavored ice cream so this is excel you know maybe you want to do this in sharepoint uh here's what you would do and we're going to import this into sharepoint so basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to sharepoint here we're going to go to the home page and we're going to fire off a new list and we should have an option to pull something from excel now let's go ahead and create from excel and we'll go right here in this documents library what is a list in SharePoint. We'll select that file next and we're gonna be presented with a few fill in the blanks here or drop down some questions basically. Uh, select a table from this file. So remember how I told you we needed to make it a table before we could do this? Hope I said that. And if that file contains multiple tables you can pick which table. There's only one table so we're gonna go with that. Check the column types below and choose a new type if the current selection is incorrect. Let's read that again. Check the column types below so these are different column types so basically what it did was it took the name column and turned it into the information in the title column this will be the default title column from SharePoint at least it should be we'll double check it once we make this list and then it is saying it's going to create a single line of text column for the favorite color now you can change this and let's go with choice and it should automatically take a look at what's going on here and figure that out for you. And then we have the same thing with the favorite ice cream. Let's make life easy on ourselves and make it choice and we'll see what happens once we import that. Description, show and site navigation, 
and we'll go ahead and click on create. So here we go. Remember we had that name field? Well, this is the title field and we can know um, that this is the original title field. This is a little added bonus here. Uh, we can go to the list settings and we can hover over the title of the column name and we will be able to see that if you look at the bottom it says at the end field equals title. So we established that in list settings the name column is equivalent to the default title column and we have choice columns for favorite color and favorite ice cream so we can do very similar thing in Excel now you might be asking yourself self why would I take a perfectly good table and dump it into SharePoint well if you really want to know the answer to that question you're gonna to have to watch some of the other videos on this playlist here about lists hope this has been helpful take it easy do the best you can with what you got. Remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care.